breaking down TV shows and movies better because I don't think y'all really be understanding what goes on and what y'all be watching. Now, this one is about Captain America Civil War, but it'll slide into other movies in a sense. So pretty much Captain America Civil War is Captain America going against the Accords and Tony Stark and his team going with the Accords. Now, we're coming off Captain America Winter Soldier where Captain America pretty much dismantles S.H.I.E.L.D. from the inside out. And he's like, nah, S.H.I.E.L.D. got to go because it's Hydra, so on and so forth. Captain America was right in doing that because it had to go. We have to assume everyone aboard those carriers is Hydra. But to get past them and search these server blades and maybe just... Maybe we can salvage what's We're not salvaging anything. We're not just taking down the carriers, Nick. We're taking down S.H.I.E.L.D. S.H.I.E.L.D. had nothing to do with it. You gave me this mission. This is how it ends. S.H.I.E.L.D.'s been compromised. You've said so yourself. Hydra grew right under your nose and nobody noticed. Why do you think we're meeting in this cave? I noticed. How many paid the price before you did? Look, I didn't know about Barnes. Even if you had, would you have told me? Or would you have compartmentalized that too? S.H.I.E.L.D., Hydra, it all goes. So throughout this story, pretty much because of the destruction of those superheroes and the villains whenever they fight, the Accords are kind of like, you know what, like, you guys need to be on board with this, you guys need to sign this document so we can determine where you go places and when you go places, if you guys should be handling this, if you guys should be handling that, so on and so forth, right? Now, the Accords is led by General Ross. We know General Ross from The Incredible Hulk, where he's literally trying to, he literally does not give a damn about anything as long as he can walk away with the Hulk. The evidence is his daughter damn near was in the crossfire of dying when he was trying to capture The Incredible Hulk, right? General Ross doesn't give a damn about anything unless it's his prerogative, right? Right. So why the fuck would we trust General Ross to lead anything that's in, you know, the world's best interest, if not for America's, right? Right. So Tony's on the side of General Ross, like we need to be governed, we need to be so on and so forth, and so and, and all this other bullshit, right? Now, Tony has, you know, white man's guilt per se. Oh, that's Charles Spencer, by the way. It's a great kid. Computer engineering degree, 3.6 GPA. Had a floor level gig, an Intel plan for the fall. But first, he wanted to put a few miles on his soul before he parked it behind a desk, see the world, maybe be of service. Charlie didn't want to go to Vegas or Fort Lauderdale, which is what I would do. He didn't go to Paris or Amsterdam. Sounds fun. He decided to spend his summer building sustainable housing for the poor guess where, Sokovia. He wanted to make a difference, I suppose. I mean, we won't know because we dropped a building on him while we were kicking ass. Now, this is Tony's past. Let's put this into perspective, right? Tony Stark, billionaire, playboy philanthropist, uh, deals in weapons and sells them to whoever can buy them, right? Now, Tony didn't have a goddamn problem with anything. Anything. Until he was almost killed by his own invention, right? The Stark rocket, where he literally had to get the shit in his chest. He was kidnapped, so on and so forth, where they were trying to get him to build a weapon for them, so on and so forth, right? Now, he comes back home, he's like, I'm no longer selling weapons, I'm no longer doing this, I'm no longer doing that. Now, it's like, bro, where was that energy before then? Now, after all of this, now Tony Stark's aware of himself, and now he wants to make amends. Now, he turns into Iron Man, right? But instead of going under the radar and be like, you know what? I'm going to just be on the, the back end of this. I'm not going to let nobody know that I'm Iron Man. He comes out and tell everybody he's Iron Man because he wants attention. Now, now years later, after all the destruction and shit like that, now Tony's like, you know what? We need to get back on the good graces of America and so forth and do what they say. But that's after he's had his fun and after he's totally just ignored everything else at the expense of his own self and his needs. Cap is like, no, we don't need to be governed by other people because they're only going to send us to where we, they think we should go. So say we need to be here somewhere else and they send us somewhere else or they don't send us at all, what happens then? Tony, if someone dies on your watch, you don't give up. Who said we're giving up? We are for not taking responsibility for our actions. This document just shifts the blame. Sorry, Steve, that, that is dangerously arrogant. This is the United Nations we're talking about. It's not the 
World Security Council. It's not SHIELD, it's not Hydra. No, but it's run by people with agendas, and agendas change. That's good. That's why I'm here. When I realized what my weapons were capable of in the wrong hands, I shut it down and stopped manufacturing. Tony, you chose to do that. If we sign this, we surrender our right to choose. What if this panel sends us somewhere we don't think we should go? What if there's somewhere we need to go and they don't let us? We may not be perfect, but the safest hands are still our own. Breaking down the plot of movies and TV shows because I don't think y'all fully be understanding what it's saying. Captain America, Civil War.